there, there's, God has been storing up your prayers. And I see, just like incense, the Bible talks about, you know this, the Bible talks about incense rising up to heaven. But God has heard every one of your prayers, and it's only a matter of timing and season where there is going to be release. And it's like sometimes, sometimes it goes up and you wonder, Lord, is this really your will? Is it not your will? I don't know sometimes because of the time period that it has taken. But the Lord says, even as you are, he's teaching you patience in this matter, and it's difficult sometimes, but let patience have her perfect work. For you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you will inherit the promise. God is bringing such an inheritance into your life like you have never seen before. There has been a withholding in your life, but now there's about ready to be a withdrawal. You know God, you know God's word in the matter, but now God is releasing the answers. And it's not going to be tied up anymore. And there's going to be a shift. Even as God brings the answers, there's going to be a shift in the perspective. God is going to begin to change the way you see things. And we need it many times. You know, we, we need it to see God's power. John chapter 4, you can... Maybe you could read after the service or whatever. Jesus says this. He says, don't say that there's four months and then comes a harvest. Lift up your eyes because the harvest is white already. Jesus says, all you have to do is change your perspective and what you are putting off till tomorrow will happen today. Don't say there's four months and then it's going to happen. Don't say there's two months and don't say there's even two weeks and it's lift up your eyes and the power that you're looking for tomorrow, you can have it today. And it's going to begin to change the way things happen around you because you're going to be able to address things in a different manner mm -hmm. because of the perspective. And through this all, God is going to show you His absolute authority in every arena. Hearts and minds that you interact with are going to begin to change because of how God is going to work in your life. In Jesus' name. Well, if anybody would like prayer or personal ministry, I'll, I'll um, go ahead and allow this to close. If you need to go home, it's fine. I understand that you know people have things to do. But um, I'll just go ahead and close it. And then if you want to stay after, my wife and I will pray for you. But I, as, as we close, I just want to... You know, your, your, your first journey into authority when God puts the crown on your head you have to take up your cross which means surrendering your life to him that is ultimately what it means we need to surrender the control of our life unto Christ and let him drive or let him take the steering wheel in our life Sometimes we want easy, we want the easy way, but not, Jesus says you're going to have to suffer. You might have to suffer the loss of some relationships because of your commitment to me. And I just want, like every head bowed and every eye closed, and you might be here this morning, maybe you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or maybe... You're not 100% committed. 99% doesn't do it. God wants 100%. He gave us 100% when His Son hung on the cross for our sin. And this is what God wants. He wants our total surrender, our behaviors, our thought life, our attitudes, every little thing that we can think of. And I'd just like to ask you if you're here this morning or this afternoon and you know that you need to make a little bit more commitment to God or you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You'll never put on the crown until you 
have walked with the cross. If you're here this morning and you know it's a little bit more commitment, I would like you to lift up your hand. Is there anybody in here? Praise God. God sees those hands. God sees those hands. Maybe it's music. I don't know. I'm a little bit radical, but when I came to Jesus, I gave him everything. Amen. I'm just going to pray with you, those of you that lifted your hands. I'm just going to pray. All you have to do is agree with me. I'm not going to ask you to repeat a cute little prayer. I just want you to agree because when you agree with God, you empower what you're agreeing with. Lord, I thank you for every hand that was lifted, Lord God. I thank you for those making a deeper commitment, Lord God, to take up their cross, to follow you, Jesus. Because if they die, they will live, Lord God. If they take the cross, they will live with the crown. They will live with that power. They will live with that authority. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we just pray for a release of the authority in their life to conquer each and everything that has come against them. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the commitment. And we pray that they would be released with the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Lord God. That you would build your kingdom upon their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we uh, close, now the, we are, we, uh, Mike has opened the floor for anybody who does want prayer. Uh, or a ministry of any kind, uh, he and his wife will be here. Uh, we're going to take up just a love offering for Mike and for his ministry. And if you're making a check, it should be made out to what, Mike? Sound of many waters. Sound of many waters. Sound of many waters. So, if you, if, so anyway, I'm just going to start the basket around. And uh, again, you're free to go. Uh, we have been richly, richly blessed today. Amen. Uh, you know, when I'm sitting and uh, being ministered to and not distracted, <laughs> I know the Holy Spirit is really, uh, there's an anointing, a, a sweet and good anointing. So uh, I think we've had a rich word today and uh, there's more for anybody who does want to stay, but otherwise you're dismissed and uh, Kathy has lovingly provided all kinds of wonderful uh, goodies back there. So uh Feel free to head back to the corner, but otherwise, anybody who needs uh, prayer and ministry, please uh, come forward.